Hey everybody, what's up? Chad Wesley Smith here in my garage this morning. Got a couple of the Jiu Jitsu guys, Otavio Sousa, Aubrey Koenig, Pipoca, and so these guys, they train twice, twice a week. Um, they actually been using the, the lifestyle program, uh, which you, know, you can check out in the Juggernaut AI BJJ strength and conditioning app. And this is kind of a program to always, always be ready. Uh, you know, a lot of times if you don't have a particular competition coming up or you're just trying to be in the best shape you can for training at your school, it's a really good option. And even though, you know, Otavio, a very high level competitor, three time world champ, four time Pan Am champ, defending Pan Am champ, he's been getting ready for some, for some matches, but he was coming off a, a bit of time of no strength training, just had a, a new baby and, and taking care of things at his school. So figured as a good kind of ramp up getting in the lifestyle program would be good. And right now he's uh, a little bit more than a week away from competing at the IBJJF Middleweight Grand Prix. He's in, in great shape right now and may, maybe a super fight this weekend depending on uh, some injuries to opponents. But I'm just gonna take a look at their training today. Hey guys, my name is Aubrey Koenig. I'm 39 years old. I'm a black belt. I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at Gracie Baja headquarters and we're here with Coach Chad at Juggernaut Training Garage doing the lifestyle program, getting strong, staying strong, staying ready. What's up guys, my name is Otavio Souza. I'm a black belt, third degree, the professor of Gracie Baja Hamilton Beach and I'm working out here at Juggernaut Training Garage and Coach Chad is pushing us hard as always. I won uh, three times the, the worlds, like in the black belt, and three more times in, in the other belt ranks. So like six times total, four times Pan American champion, five times Brazilian national champion. You want to add that part to your resume as well? I, I, w I, I wish I could say that. I, I've got some championships. None, none of them look like his. Sydney Open champion, Japan Masters, world champion, Asia Pacific silver medalist, San Diego Open champion. Charleston Open champion. Hey! Hey! Oh man. Knee bar specialist. Man, dude, you got a lot. <laughs> man, Brazilian nationals, five times? Five times. That's probably the hardest one. Before I got a real Mick, Mick from Rocky vibe going on with that beanie. <laughs> all, all the guy problems. I mean, the resemblance. <laughs> 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 oh, <Jesus. laughs> All right, so with the, with the lifestyle program, basically what we do is there's essentially six different workouts that are either two main exercises for the day. They're upper body pulling exercise, upper body pushing exercise, squatting exercise, hinging exercise. So upper body pull and hip hinge, hip extension exercises go together and press and squat exercises go together. And then those rotate all through heavy, explosive, and endurance. So today they're gonna have uh, heavy upper body pulling and explosive hip hinge, hip extension exercise, which will be banded kettlebell swings after these weighted chin-ups. So yeah, that, that's kind of what we do with the, li the lifestyle program. There's not a, a phasic periodization structure like we use in a lot of our other training that's like pointed at a specific competition or, or peaking date. Uh, but it's you know kind of a little bit of everything all all the time, so it keeps the training very very interesting. And with a sport like jujitsu, where there's so many different demands on the body, anyways, using the phasic structure isn't as big a deal as it is for powerlifting, where you have to focus on developing like this one very specific quality for a specific day. Now we're gonna put a two and a half and one and a quarter kilo okay. plates. Just slide them onto the strap. Two. Two. Bicep check. So last time, people thought you did 80 for six. Otavio, you did 80 for eight. So I'd say five and seven would be good. Hey. 
Opa. Opa. Yeah, but this is prime bicep vein. You get a flex, but like seem like you're not flexing, you know, like real casual, like, yeah, that's the stuff. Bicep check. Be scared. This is why people get gets bullied because <laughs> he brings the phone so for the <laughs> He doesn't want to answer because he knows that there's probably a box jump that's higher than the <laughs> <laughs> record being broken. <laughs> Alright, let's get the big big kettlebells. And then do a one more up set without the band swings. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, we're just here. But I'm here. It's <laughs> to the mall. Hey, <laughs> 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 Hey, enjoy your vacation, feed. Otavio needs a, a matchup. I think I'm looking at him right now. How about Furao and Tusa tag team match versus Otavio and Karen? <laughs> Maybe Chad Jr. Oh my God. It'd be like, you know, back in the Roman days, the Colosseum, and they'd put the guy in there and he gets eaten by the lions. That's a Chad Jr. Uh, that's a Chad versus Otavio, too. But really, Chad Jr. versus Otavio. Valeu, Linha. Boa viagem pra vocês. Valeu, Linha. Obrigado. Tchau. One set, two sets. Three minutes of work. So that was their explosive hip extension exercise. So they're at the end of uh, their week eight of a nine week program. They train twice a week. So three weeks ago, they did the same exercise for 10 sets of four. Three weeks before that, it was 10 sets of three. Uh, obviously, we're constrained on the weight they can use with the kettlebell. So it stayed at constant intensity the same time, 32 kilo kettlebell, green band, and just increase the, the workload a little bit every week. All right, then we're doing a single arm overhead walk, like a 55 or 60, something like that. So down and back, right hand, down and back, left hand. Then, 60. yeah, then band, band curls, one rep in reserve. So obviously a lot of jiu-jitsu guys have you know, shoulder issues and uh, so if the shoulder issue is already too severe, you know, this might not be a great exercise for them or the intensity has to be really low, but building that overhead stability is gonna help promote shoulder health. We just gotta load it appropriately for the athlete. What? Just in case there was some joking shit talking I couldn't hear. Not, not everything is about you, okay? <laughs> God. I can only assume. 
<laughs> We're talking about Octavio and his weight cutting. Yeah. Uh, pipoca, pipoca, pipoca. It's all about pipoca. <laughs> well, I see my two brothers like laughing, teasing, and I'm struggling. I have no choice but to assume. <laughs> so this one have the strap on the side where I had it. Oh, pump it, Jan, pump it up. Look at that, huh? This guy's bigger shirt, bro. <laughs> so then the, you know, after those main exercises, the today's stuff, chin-ups for upper body pull, swings for hip extension, the heavy and explosive today. We pretty much always in the lifestyle program just follow that up with some general accessory work. So today they have the carry, which is the overhead walk, then some neck work here, the lateral bear crawl with the iron neck, bicep and abs. And if this was more of a squat and press day, they'd have, you know, instead of the curls, it would be some tricep work. Instead of the carry, it would be something for shoulders and we would have a twisting exercise in there as well. If anything, you wanna almost point your toe down and your heel be high relative to your toe. Yeah. This is all part of Brazilian Brazilian booty workout. When we're down there, Carnival, living the Sunga life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd rock it hard, dude. He could do. I guess Ed could have a good body for like wrestling or, or jiu-jitsu. Him or you? This guy Ed going. Huh? Yeah. I come get by here before and I think he's up he's up to sixty now. Sorry. She's selling you sharp people, okay? You're up to sixty now. Yeah. Sixty, not fifty. <laughs> <laughs>